What's up, guys? Welcome to the Stats Free Sports Channel. Let's get right into it with Jarvis Landry's tweet. Um, I'm not going to read the tweet to you out loud, but um, I might put it in the background of the video. I might not. So if you haven't seen the tweets yet, go on Twitter. Just Google Jarvis Landry, the first thing that, that pops up. Um, and basically in the tweet, uh, it's like a three three uh, threaded tweet. Jarvis Landry basically tells what happened this season with him personally. You know, he got injured early on, tried to fight his way back, and, um, you know, really stayed hurt throughout the whole year. Wasn't his, his full self, his self, excuse me, not self. Um, and basically, the media is going with a narrative that he's not what he once was. You know, he's no, this is his first real injured, uh, first time really being injured in the NFL. He's been an Iron Man, he's been solid since his Miami days, you know, since a couple of, what, five, six, seven years now, eight years now however long he's been in the league. So, you know, and he's basically saying he wants to stay in, in Cleveland. If you don't know, rumors are swirling around since the end of the season that Jarvis Landry is a big cut candidate for the Browns. You know, he is uh, due about 14 to 15 million or somewhere around there, 13 to 15 million uh, next year coming up. So, you know, older guy, he's getting older, you know, him and Odell, Brown the same age, came in the same time, all that stuff. So, you know, uh, people are kind of the the funny thing is people are kind of comparing uh, comparing him and put him in the same boat as Odell. You no, know, Odell has a broken leg, a couple torn ACLs, I believe. You know, a couple injuries here and there. This is Jarvis Jarvis's first injured season, first bad season. You know, Odell has been through the through the ringer a couple times now. This is Jarvis Landry's first, so he's basically saying like, you know, don't put me in the narrative like I'm getting old, I'm getting washed, I'm injury prone. This is my first bad season, my first injury-prone season. Don't do that media. Um, I don't mind it, but I don't know why he did this. You know, a lot of ball players are hurt. His teammate, B Baker Mayfield, was hurt all year, you know, for the most part, and didn't complain, didn't whine about it. He's getting crushed by the media, you know. So um, I don't say I don't like it, but I don't get why he did this. You know, I wonder what's going on behind the scenes, but – uh, did it, today is the start of the franchise tag season, you know, so players will get franchised and not right after that, you know, free agency. So players start, will start and get cut pretty soon or, or traded and or traded, you know, and, um, I doubt many teams will take on that 13 to $15 million cap hit Jarvis Landry is due this season. So he will probably get cut to be honest. And, uh, Baker will have a whole new arsenal of, of web or Lisa, Top two, you know, a new top top two, Odell and Landry being gone. You have uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones. You have Austin Hooper, who knows about Njoku, whether they resign him or not. But I think they will get Baker Mayfield brand new, well, brand new top two weapons, you know, for, for wide receivers. Um, But like I said, Landry's still good. So I understand what he's saying. Like I said, I don't know why he did this. That's the weird thing. Most players don't come out. None really is rare for a player to come out that's still playing, still you no know, in no trouble. He's you no know, clean as a whistle, and he's coming out saying you know the ball's in their court, blah blah blah. You know, so we'll see what happens. Like I say, he's a big trade, uh, a big cut candidate. Probably will get cut. Um, and he has to prove he has to prove his worth still. You know, sports, professional sports are a young man's game. NBA, baseball, ma mainly basketball, uh, excuse me, mainly basketball and football is, is a young man's game. You know, and it's rare to see skilled players, you know, get into their mid-30s and still be starting with no problem. You know, and Landry's uh, 29 years old, pushing 30, is going to start to be a problem. You know, especially when the injuries come and the wear and tear, and it's normal. The wear and tear comes. Being in the league for so long, being a high active, high-use player, like I said, he's been good for a while now, so you know it's gonna be that. So um, he's gonna still have the, he can probably get cut and have to prove himself a little bit. But it is what it is. It's part of being a vet. It's a part of the business. You know that's what I'm saying. A little confusing why he did this, but I'm not mad at it. You know I'm not mad at no one frustrating them, uh, getting out their frustrations and venting and things like 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 that. So we'll see what happens with the situation with the Browns. I say he'll get cut. In my personal opinion, but if he wants to stay. I hope he stays. Shoot. So we'll see what happens, guys. That's it for video, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.